Three days ago, a group of animal rights activists broke into the rayfish footwear facility. The perpetrators not only damaged valuable equipment, but more importantly, stole many of the stingrays we were breathing in the facility, including some of the youngest ones. If we are to believe their video on YouTube, the activists released our stingrays into the ocean. This irresponsible act will have unforeseen consequences for years to come. Do I condemn these people that have caused such great damage to my company? Of course. Does it worry me that genetically engineered stingrays are now free in the ocean, free to be eaten by predators, and free to interbreed with wild populations? Absolutely. Do I want these people caught and brought to justice? Very much. Yet I also understand them. These people are living beings like me, concerned with the well-being of other living beings. And like me, they believe we live on Earth in partnership with our animal relatives. Nonetheless, their actions are unthinking and short-sighted. They value destruction over debate and nostalgia for the good old days, which never really existed, over a willingness to face the future. Not only is this crime a terrible setback for my company and employees, it is also a personal tragedy. When I founded Rayfish Footwear, it was my sincere intention to create a model company. One that treated its animals with an exacting eye to their welfare. One that paid its employees livable wages and provided excellent working conditions. Despite this care, hundreds if not thousands of people expressed their outrage at our product. I firmly believe that this anger is misdirected. The outrage should not be that you can buy an utterly unique, handmade and humanely produced pair of sneakers for $18,000. The outrage should be that you can buy a brand new pair of flimsy, disposable sneakers produced under deplorable conditions somewhere on the other side of the world for $20. Look at the items you are wearing or carrying at this moment. Ask yourself, who made them? Where were they made? Under what conditions? Most of us have become complete strangers to the products that surround us. We do not know who benefited from our purchases. We do not know who suffered for them. So this is what we have come to. We cry wolf on humanely raised stingray leather while wearing shoes made from cows raised in crowded feedlots. We recoil at the thought of hurting a dog, let alone eating one while slaughtering hundreds of millions of pigs each year. We eat meat as long as we don't recognize the animal in it. We put the polar bear on the endangered species list and the equally endangered bluefin tuna on the sushi menu. The fact is that the comments that have been made and the issues that have surfaced since our company website was launched reflect the complexity of our consumptive relationship with animals. A relationship we never really worked through. For millennia, human beings have lived with animals. Humans domesticated the grey wolf 15,000 years ago. Today there are hundreds distinct dog types, some of which are almost unrecognizable as wolves. The recent advances in biotechnology stem from a long historical tradition of selective breeding. They merely increase its precision. Rest assured that I fully understand that radical technological advances often make us uneasy. But every new technology cannot be met with fear. It is true we are playing with fire, but this also defines us as humans. We play with fire and accept the consequences, because the alternative implies an unacceptable cowardice towards the unknown. We need to get over our unwillingness to change we need to learn to love the future again. Regardless of our recent setback, I promise Rayfish Footwear will come back stronger than ever. We will continue to craft the most unique footwear on the planet. I hope my stingrays will survive and prosper in their new surroundings. Evolution goes on. Biodiversity will increase. Not despite, 
but thanks to the animal rights activists that broke into our company.